Yeah, big question again, but I'll, I'll attempt, to, <laughs> attempt to answer it. Ah, uh, yay, yay, yay. Well, if you've seen what some government programs do, like what's happened in some communities of Arnhem Land just lately, uh, where they're re supposed to be replacing housing, right? The housing that's not even 20 years old. Now, this has happened a few times in Arnhem Land. And I come back in 93, started to move through Arnhem Land again. I saw houses that was only 20 years old being completely demolished and rebuilt because the bureaucrats in, in charge of the, 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 the housing program we're looking for mates for their jobs, really. Honestly, guys, I'm, I'm just putting it out there. We need, we need, do need a, a whole uh, anti-corruption, corruption body right at the federal level to really get over this. Mates for jobs, they don't want to fix up old houses. We'll just pull them down. And of course, because of um, safety concerns and all that, they don't just pull them down and take the iron off like we used to do in the old days. We used to do it in the old days. And we, that iron can be used for people in homelands or uh, other places, you know, the use of use, the good use of resource, useful resources, you know. Oh, what do we do these days? We just get a big backhoe in there, smash, 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 smash. Bureaucrats, what is this doing to the, <laughs> to the young people who see the homes they have lived in being trashed with a great big dipper arm. Why? Those kids don't know where money comes from. They don't know where, who's paying for these houses. Nobody ever tells them that. Nobody gives them that information. Well, I do. I do in our programs. Not everybody's totally hearing that yet because the thousands of Ballander out there don't tell them those sort of things. They're not even having those sort of communications with them. So, First of all, we're giving the wrong image to people instead of taking resources down, reusing them, whatever, you know, let's just get it built quick and fast. We'll control it all from Canberra. We'll even build houses in Arnhem Land that are fit for Canberra more than they're fit for Arnhem Land. You know, small windows, everything else, so you can air condition it down efficiently and everything else like that. No flow of air. Rah, 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 let's go through it. So if you don't know where the house comes from, you think that the government is providing all the houses to everybody in Australia, which most, most, many, 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 many Aboriginal people think that. Uh, they've been told over and over again, forget your old ways, which was a way of private ownership, where now everything is controlled and owned by the government. Many people are thinking that. So they're, they're thinking, well, so what? We smash the house, we dirty the house, government will come along with a backhoe, trash it, contractors will come in, they'll love it, they'll build, 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 build real quickly, put it up, they'll go away again, back to the, back to the Gold Coast, or down to Tasmania, some come from. There's no more employment for the people on the ground, so there's no interconnection with the house. And then ABC comes along, and they find the worst houses, and they'll say, Look at this, the government is not fixing this. Who's, whose fault is this? This is, this is the fault of the government. Rather than showing everybody else in Australia buy their own private house, maintain their own private house. So even ABC becomes part of this myth of, of you don't have to look after houses, you can just trash them, you can just do this, you just do that. But there's a number of other factors. Well, the other factor is there could be 38 people isn't it, living in that one house. So we never get a front of the housing stock because we're pulling them down and rebuilding instead of repairing and building more houses. One community in Arnhem Land, they took down, get this, they spent close, how many tens of millions of dollars, well it must have been tens of millions, must have been nearly $20 million to pull down 23 bedrooms and put up 24. Oh, that was great. <laughs> that was a great step forward. That'll really deal, deal with the numbers of housing stock. So let's, let's, get, let's get real around here. But then there's another issue. We still haven't taught people about germ theory. Now, when I first started looking at this subject, I was really confused why, why people want to move from their traditional housing, which, which 
They had no disease and sickness in. They had no scabies, they had no strep A, all those things in the traditional housing. And I'm happy to discuss this with anybody anywhere uh, ac across the nation. They had no, none of those diseases. They moved into modern housing. Within six months, some people were housed with, with uh, Norwegian scabies, scabies so bad that they had to be brought into hospital. And this has happened now, I can tell of many cases where this has happened. People haven't been taught germ theory, so, but people come along and say to them, oh, it's because of your housing condition, you're sick, right? So they're thinking, oh, it's the housing condition that you're sick. And because the people are saying that it's because of, of germs, bacteria and all that sort of stuff. And the house is not being kept clean or whatever. That's what they're saying that for. But the people are thinking it's to do with the materials. We haven't got that latest modern Bellander house. That's why we get sick. See, if you haven't got germ theory and a few other things, there's no, no relationship to the cause and effect. What is the causing? What's the, what's the effect? Of, what's the cause and effect of the disease? So people are thinking maybe it's the material. And I remember in this very house where we're doing this recording now, I showed bacteria to a a great friend of mine, young or friend, who's passed away not too long ago. And the first time he saw bacteria. His words just blew me away. He said, everybody's got to see this story about bacteria. I said, why? He says, because we think it's the concrete. The concrete itself, as against our traditional use of sand. So we use sand, say, in our homes and all that sort of stuff. And Ballander kept on saying, you've got to, you've got to now change to Ballander housing. You've got to come, we've got to bring you up to modern housing. So we thought, oh, maybe it's the concrete or the materials in the house or the shape of the house that's got the right shape to stop us getting sick. We never realized that even dirty concrete can make us sick. We thought concrete can't make you sick because it came from Ballander. So without that basic fundamental information, again, people are drawing the wrong conclusions. And so you get a completely different outcome. I remember the days when my parents and their parents would spit into the open fire. <laughs> you know, they sit there spitting into the fire. Culturally now, in mainstream, spitting is seen as absolute. No, no, because everybody knows in mainstream that that can transfer bacteria, disease and sickness. It, we have a whole population of Aboriginal people in Australia who don't know that. And to me, that's, that's criminal that they don't know that. They don't know germ theory. Now, please come and talk to me about it if you want to go down this, this, this rabbit hole because it took us years to work out how to teach it properly. I'd hate to see money rolled out now to a consultant in Melbourne or Canberra or Sydney who just want to cream it off from the government and come up here and annoy Jung to death again. But we could be doing germ theory that would uh, cut health budgets in half and also could go across the world, uh, which we've actually got some microscopes up in Nigeria at the moment. And we've we've cut those those communities those communities who are suffering from high level of HIV AIDS and other other sicknesses has been more than cut in half down to forty percent uh, of of the levels they were running before just by teaching the germ theory which we discovered here in Arnhem Land but which has been which we have found impossible to get funded by Canberra centric. Um, bureaucrats.